Welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Um, today we're going to talk about how to install a license file on a Brocade ICX. Uh, so first, before we get there, to generate your license, you're going to need, uh, usually when you buy a license, it comes with a transaction key, and then you're going to need a license ID in order to generate that license file. So the, how you get your license ID, if you uh, do a show version, the show version here, is going to show you, this is a stack I have, but unit one of my stack, here's my license ID for unit one, unit two, unit three, etc. right? So the LID is the license ID, so you will need that in combination with the transaction key in order to generate a license. And so what's gonna happen is, um, when you generate that license, they are going to send you an XML file um, and so the XML file usually has a long file name with the serial number or the license ID as part of the file name, .xml. And you can open that up and it will tell you exactly what it's for. So this, this license file, for example, um, is, a, uh, is a 7250 trial 8x10 gig license. Um, uh, so if you if you rename your file and you or you forget what that file is for, then you can always open it up and look in it, and it'll tell you exactly what it's uh, what it's destined for. But um, so if I hop back over to my console here, um, let's see. So first, let's have a look at what licenses are on my box. So right now, I have three licenses installed in this uh, in this stack. So no, uh, unit one, unit two, unit three. Um, so uh, they all have a 10 gig ports on demand license uh, and it is two port. So what I'm gonna do it, during this is I'm gonna install an eight port 10 gig license, um, also a trial. But anyway, so, that, so it's a two port 10 gig that's installed. Here's my license ID or my serial number. Um, it, these are trial and it's active for 45 days. Um, and so, the way we would install these is just with a copy command, just like you'd copy a, a, a running config or, um, or uh, you know, a, a new firmware or something like that. So it's like copy TFTP to license rather than to flash, right? So you could do a copy TFTP to license, SCP to license, um, disk zeros from the USB. Um, so any of the standard copy methods you can also do with a license file. And so what we're going to do in this case, I'm going to copy it from my USB drive. So USB is already inserted. Um, and then let's have a look at what's on there. So we'll do show files uh, disk zero. Uh, so these are the files that are on my USB flash drive that's mounted right now. Um, and so these are these are the standard license file names that you would get um, when you when you generate that license, right, or when someone else generates that license for you, you're going to get that XML file. Um, now that doesn't mean anything to me. So generally, I rename them. So you know, I've renamed this one to switch one dash eight by ten dot XML, just so that I can remember what they're for, you know. And so if I need to reinstall it, I can do that. Um, so the way we install those files in is we're going to do a copy disk zero to license and then we need the file name so we'll call it switch 1-8 by 10 dot xml and then it wants to know where to install it to which unit right so unit in this case it's going to be unit one okay so hit enter on that it says copy to to uh, disk zero to flash, didn't give me an error, so I know it installed properly. Uh, and then I'm going to do the other one. Okay, and then it says um, uh, copy success. So if I do a show license again here, I now have, rather than having my license capacity of two, I now have a license capacity of eight. So I know those licenses were installed correctly. Um, so, you know, license files is not just ports on demand, right? But it may also be uh, feature licenses like premium licenses or, uh, you know, max sec license, something like that. So they all get installed the same way. Um, the only other thing you might want to do is a license delete. So 
um, if you if you needed to remove a license, you could say license delete unit one, and then you could say all, or you could you could uh, from the index numbers we saw the index up here. We could actually delete uh, individual licenses from the index. So if you wanted to delete a trial license or you wanted to delete a permanent license, that's exactly how you would do it. Uh, but easy as that, uh, and that's it. Thanks for joining.